Jason Palmozano, founder and CEO of Trinity Fitness, with my son Josh, getting ready to hit a workout. You ready for this? Ready. The whole idea of this video is uh, addressing the question, how to have a relationship, how to build a relationship with your kids. All right, so enjoy, and we'll talk a little bit more about that after the workout. My hair straight. The battle's on, but the war is over when Jesus reigns. And for his name, I will stand up pressure and take the pain. And if they drop us, this promise will take him to the grave. That tonight we may die, but to die is our game. Tell them bring your guns out. In my city of in play. All right, that was the workout. We're done, we're recovering, and uh, let's talk about how to have a great relationship with your kids. Wait a minute, you might say, who won the workout? It wasn't a competition, it doesn't matter. Well, what was the workout? It doesn't matter. What matters was that we worked out together, and that's what it means to build a great relationship with your kids. If you have more than one kid, like I do, I have four, Haley's 21, Mike's 19, Josh is 18, Sam is 16, and all of them are different. All of them have different hot buttons. All of them have different likes and dislikes, what motivates them and what's, what's, what inspires them. And, and I've got to talk to them in different ways. And again, if you have multiple kids, you know what that's all about. Or if you ever coached a sports team, you know what that's all about. All the kids are motivated differently. Um, so, so parenting is a bit of an art. Here's the key to having a great relationship with your kids. We've got to find out. Uh, some people call it what their love language is. Some people call it what's their hot buttons. Uh, some people call it what, what motivates them. And there's typically five general areas. And if I forget any of these, I want you to pick them up, okay? Uh, first is time, uh, is, is time, spending time together. Second is words of encouragement. Uh, third is, is gifts. Uh, uh, physical touch is one. Uh, what's the fifth one? Acts of service. Acts of service, thank you, is another one. And usually there's five, uh, one of those five or two of those five that, that really is a love language that really speaks to the heart uh, deep within your kid or your spouse. Uh, so Josh, his hot button or love language is, is time, is quality time together by way, many times, of hitting a workout together. He always pushes me, I always push him, and it's a great time. Sometimes it's just having a deep conversation, spending that time. Sometimes it's going for a walk together, going swimming, having fun at the beach, whatever that time looks like. And it's usually, you know, a little bit different every time. Haley, my girl, it's gifts. She loves to receive things. So it's, a, it's on me to find not necessarily expensive things all the time, but things that just show, that show her that I'm thinking of her, that she means that she's very special to me. Uh, with Mike, it's words of encouragement and food. Whenever I buy him food, he's like, come on. That's the way to his heart. With Sam, it's time and words of encouragement. So each of them are a little bit different. But here's the key to having a great relationship with your kids. And I wanna liken this to building a physical bridge if you and I were gonna build a bridge, we need some building materials, some lumber. Well, it's not enough just to get the lumber or to know that you need building materials and what those building materials are. If you're gonna build a bridge and you buy lumber and don't do anything with it, if you leave it sitting in your yard, it's worthless, it's nothing. For me, as a parent, as a dad, to know that Josh's love language is time, that's the pile of lumber, and not do anything with it, it's useless. I might, I might as well not even know that it's time. It's what I do with the building materials that makes all the difference in the world. And that's the key, that's the secret that I wanna pass on to you as moms, as dads, uh, as folks that are trying to love on our kids and raise uh, great kids. Uh, now, if we do this, does that mean that every time you walk through the house, walk uh, through your front door, that the dishes are gonna be done? The floors are going to be swept, their room is going to be picked up, and everything's going to be spotless? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, that's not even what we're shooting for. That's a byproduct of what we're shooting for. 
but uh, not every family is perfect. Uh, not everything's going to go well. You're still going to have hiccups and uh, peaks and valleys. Here's the deal. As parents, we've got to keep the big picture in mind if we're going to win the war. And the big picture is this. We're not raising kids. We're raising adults. Keep that big picture in mind, and it'll help you overcome the hiccups along the way. Uh, know what building material, number one, know what the building materials are. What's the love language? Number two, you have to execute on that. You gotta act on it. Do something with those, build a beautiful bridge day by day by day by day and know that you'll lay down some of those boards. The next day, they're gonna, some of them, one or two of them might be ripped up and you gotta rebuild that. That's okay, you keep building. I hope that helps. Until next time, God bless you.